Greetings everybody. This is the Wanderer. First time in a while we've been out. Yeah, everything's fine. Got a late season snowstorm the other day. Not too bad as wet snow. About five inches, but it's melting quick. And I don't think there's five inches in the woods, but we'll find out. Looks like some people already came trampling through here. You are the wanderer, I think I said that already. <sighs> Let me get some exercise. I just climbed a steep part of the hill. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I made a mistake, I didn't do any stretches before I came out here. So, let's we'll take a little quick lap around here. If you've been on this uh, channel before, you might notice trail a little bit already. It's a nice little loop. It's around 12 minutes. Yeah. It's just gorgeous out here. So I think we'll just check out some scenery. We're in 4K at 60 frames per second. Of course, you need a 4K screen to see 4K. If not, you probably get 1080p. So, if you're watching a video on YouTube, or whatever, in this, on the bottom of the video, you'll see that little gear, the settings gear, and you can choose your, uh, you know, resolution. I guess what they call it. So, if, uh, if you have 4K on your screen, your computer, your phone, I don't think it goes there automatically. It just gives you the lowest setting. I think most screens now are 1080p. And 4K is not really widespread yet. But if you have it, it's available. I gotta redo the read only just here. A little windy from climbing that hill. Take a peek at the golf course. There's one right over here to our left. Shortly. Because a wanderer, turn the camera away from him a little bit. I think he's a employee. I'm not sure. They should say hello if they're an employee. Most people around here are friendly, so and they don't really say much. But you did wave. Gimbal's not the same. I have this phone on a gimbal. Very good gimbal for the money. It's a Moza Mini MX. It's gonna be two years old. But it's now, it's now starting to act up a little bit. I got my use out of it. I think I paid $74. It's $10 or more now. But uh I bought a little iPhone, 
and uh, I put it on the gimbal and it was the gimbal started acting weird and shut itself off basically what happens is because uh, cell phones have their own stabilization in them so you, when you put them on a gimbal you shut them off and in a lot of iPhones I say maybe the $500 and under you can't shut that off and when you have both of those um, stabilization is working at the same time they work against each other and the gimbal just shuts off so I had to return it that, uh, that um, Apple phone so was, I really like that phone it's really awesome but I use gimbals because you always have one hand free you don't have to walk around with that thing pinched between your fingers so, uh, had to, had to bring it back. I'm back to the old Pixel again. Uh oh, looks like a big tree uprooted. Yeah, see a big hunk of thing in there? Big tree falleth. Wasn't really windy here. Fuyo! That's a fire alarm in distance. Yeah, look at that big hole too underneath it. Looks like they already started cutting it. November to mid-March. Walk on the golf course. Oh, well, poor tree. Looks like Big John, Big John Pine took a fall. Thank you for your service, Big John Pine. I'm sure, many birds chirped and rested in there. This is a golf course, by the way. Let me do one of these, maybe. Nice little pond over there. I guess they call that the drink, right? The golfers. That'd be a good exciting thing in a golf game. If you put your ball in the drink in the water, you should go in there and get it. <laughs> you get extra bonus. I can smell it. I can smell the pine. Oh well. It's funny how it fell this way. Just, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't think too much wind will come through the woods to push it out this way. But I guess it did. Maybe it was uh, circulating. Maybe this roots gave way, I don't know. Only Big John Pine knows. We'll spin around to the amphitheater. We're gonna do three videos today. This one here, Wanderings for YouTube. I'm gonna make another one. And another test video. So I got um, a live stream software. And uh, I did a test live stream last week up here, and it did work. But here's another problem. Everything was cool, but the live stream app only, um, you know, has uh, 30 frames per second. So regardless, you, like this phone can do 60, which is great for when you're moving. You don't get blur when you move like this. See so if I pan left or the right. 
nothing's really blurred but at 30 frames per second where it's a lot slower it will blur and don't look good at all I mean 30 frames per second if your camera's on a tripod or something fine perfect enough of this or skating or skiing or anything else so a lot of time and effort you finally got you know the software downloaded and it doesn't have 60 frames per second <laughs> so there goes my live streaming I mean you can still do it but the quality ain't gonna, you know it's just not gonna be there where I wanted it to be so unless I find software that'll let you stream in 60 frames per second but on the other hand I bought I activated this phone so I got like 10 gigs I gotta burn up so we're gonna stream it out anyway so we'll just go to a cheaper a cheaper plan or a carrier that uh, doesn't cost so much because you can't stream you know but uh, you know, I mean I want to hike so I mean so I have to come up with another way of streaming maybe bring a small tripod with me and set it down and put the camera still on it and we can probably stream from there but we won't be able to move around that guy that we passed through here, he had a wander, didn't come through here because there's no footprints not fresh ones Here might be. Well, if you can see that or not, that's definitely a toe. Here's a swing did come through there. Another down tree. There's really no wind in this last storm. It snows a little heavy, but it's only four inches. Well, that should be an easy one to clear, at least. There's a lot of chickmunks living here, so I bring uh, I bring um, peanuts. So now they got another log. Let's see how this one split. Yeah, that might explain why it broke. Si sí, senor, it's kind of hollow there. Found the weak spot. There's so much stuff going on in this world. It's never good. You know? It's never good. There's another down tree. Hope we can complete the loop, but I'll have to come all the way back up. This is a big hill to climb. <laughs> I already climbed the steep part once. I just want to sort of gently go down to the starting line. I don't want to turn around and climb again. I'm not 30 no more.
ね。Hear some funky noises. This got my curiosity, actually. Well, let's see how this one broke. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Doesn't look violent. That might be, uh, could be termite. I don't know. I'm no tree surgeon. I can assure you that. Oops, we're halfway through the loop. Nope, I gotta refresh. See, sometimes the gimbal does that now. Okay, we're cool. Sorry about that little waving. Some adjustments there. I got no complaints with this gimbal, but it's getting old and I'm going to have to get a newer one. I think my next gimbal will be a 3-in-1 where I can put a regular DSL camera on there and this cell phone if not, you know, a real vlogger's camera. This is fun stuff. We're going back to the waterfall soon. That's the other park. The other side of the town. <laughs> that one's much closer to home than this. This is my old neighborhood. There's a plane. You hear a plane? Fairly.
You know, some people love the sound of planes, those little single engine ones. It is pretty neat, actually, when you think about it. You see here, as I grew up in a, you know, sort of a country rural area, and you always hear them, I never thought much about it, until so somebody mentioned it to me once, how soothing it is, and now when you, like, listen for it, there's no other noise around but snow and ice falling from the trees, and like this. If you live out in the country, you'll hear them at nighttime sometimes, and you're laying down. I just heard a chick dee 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 dee. Well, this short hike's coming to a close here in about two minutes because there's a amphitheater and that's where we're going to wrap it up. It's the uh, software you use for live streaming. You can use it without live streaming. And that, you can actually rotate the camera so I can go front and back. Like right now, I can't. That's one way and one way only. Unless I stop recording, you know, flip the camera around and then record again. With the software, I can go back and forth. I want to try that. See if it works. It might only work for live streaming, I don't know. And then if you use a live streaming app, I want to make sure you still have 60 frames per second. You know, I want the 4K still. I'm not giving all that up. But the live stream app is cool. I mean, it's, it's, it's a good tool, I guess, to have in case, you know, there's a major event. You know, like, I don't know. Anything. <laughs> World-class snowboarding. <laughs> Circuit comes through town or something, or uh, who knows. And the amphitheater. There's Mr. Squirrel over there. Well, that's it for this short walk. We'll be back again shortly, a couple of days. Some other areas will be a little bit more polished. This is the first video in months. So we're making a lot of adjustments to stuff. Okay, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little stroll. Hope you enjoy the noise of the uh, snow and the ice coming down from the trees. Our single engine airplane. And the sound of snow crunching under the feet. Alright, peace to you and have a great rest of your week. Bye bye.